We've come to Croydon today to visit the tourist classic winner, Ray Duffield. Good afternoon, Ray. Hi, Keith. Congratulations on winning the classic the weekend. Thanks very much. What time did you clock in? 12.07. Yeah, how far did you fly? 278 miles. Yeah, it's a very quick race. Yeah, not as quick as I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought about four hours 40 ish, roughly, but uh, just over five hours, so I thought I was a little bit off the pace, but. Yeah. Um, very, very pleased with I think there's a lot more west in it than we thought, really. Obviously, yeah. yeah. And I think it might have been a little bit more south than I thought, because obviously the boys in Kent, I thought, would have dominated this race. But yeah. unfortunately, or fortunately for me, they haven't got them. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the returns were good, weren't they? Yeah, I got 19 out of 20. I had 17 on the day, two next day. Yeah. Um, one I did half fancy, a red cock. He's been quite consistent this year for me. Why I didn't get him is because he's had a he skimmed a wire or something, you know, yeah. so he's a bit damaged, but he's okay. Yeah. How long have you been in sport? <sighs> well, I'm about 54 ish, I think, and I, since I was about nine or ten, I think, my father had them, my cousins and brothers had them. Yes, yeah, so so it's in yeah, the family. It's in the family, inbred, if you like. <laughs> <laughs> What's one or two of your best performances prior to winning the Classic? Fourth Open Pole National today. Yeah. On a good day when George Burgess won the race. Fourth Open Classic Poe on the day, when there was only six on day, on a hard day, yeah. which was very good, I thought. And first SMT Combine, with nearly 9,000 pigeons out of Le Mans. Uh, you done well then, mate? Yeah, one or two decent performances. What, sort of, of. what sort of distance do you like racing in? Only the distance ones. Long channel. distance? It's got to be channel. Yeah. 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 I don't go to the extreme distance, because I do think it's a different breed a pigeon and I admire the people that do it but at the moment I don't think that's for me. I say Poe's a good distance race for the day isn't it? Day pigeons yeah, yeah and I think it. Poe is about the limit really. Um, yeah a 600 mile maybe but uh, for, for the competition I think Poe's about the limit in this you know for this part of the country. This is a classic winner then Ray? Yep this is the one. What family is he? He's a bush art. The father, actually, I had given to me. It's a pigeon, Steve Appleby bred, actually, um, who's the race advisor in the yeah. classic. And he's got a very good hen down here that's never been out the first 10 of any classic or national race he's been in. Very good pigeon. And yeah. I was lucky enough to get hold of the, a, a son out of her. And um, the mother is a bush art pigeon that. Uh, Peter Simpson, he was secretary of the Sutton Club once, but before he packed up. And he was second open SMT combine on the day from Bergerac with the mother of this pigeon. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, I bought the pigeon off of another chap when Peter packed up. A bloke called Dean Milton had all these pigeons. Yeah. And, and then he half packed up. And I bought uh, this hen off, out of his cell. Yeah. But she's a lovely, lovely hen. Yeah. This is, this is a nice cock. What yeah. system is he raced on? Natural. He's chasing his end like mad to the nest, which he's still doing now. Well, that's why he's wriggling like mad, yeah. trying to get out of my yeah. hand to get back at her. Yeah, what was his build up to win the Classic then? Um, a few coastal tosses. Yeah. Um, one in land race, which he went on the clock. He was my second pigeon. One channel race the week before the Classic, which again he went on the clock. I was a bit behind, a bit off the pace that week. And then the Classic. What methods do you race your pigeons on then, Ray? Natural. Yeah, yeah. Pure natural. When do you pair them up? I'll pair up around about the middle of March. I'd like to pair up a bit later, but I'll concentrate on Poe in the Classic. I'll yeah. resign from the National. But, uh, and it's a bit early in the season to pair up. Yeah. Um, like I look, usually like to, about sort of middle to where's the end of February. Yeah. So I'll pair up in the middle of March now. So you're on the natural system uh, for channel racing. How about your feeding and training? Training, I, I, I enjoy training, it's just the time it takes because um, I run my own business, corn shop, as you probably know. Yeah. And uh, training can be a bit of a pain. Yeah. Um, I have to get up early in the morning to get that done. Yeah, so where'd you I'm go? Early. It's down to the coast as far as I can. Yeah. I use Brighton a lot. Yeah. Um, I was saying that this year, I haven't I haven't actually been to the beach once this year at Brighton. I went to Bognor once. Yeah. But uh, I'll get down as much as I can. 
Just coastal. Coastal yeah. tosses on that route. How about feeding? Feeding, quite heavy feed. Um, Again, as you know about my own corn shop, we have our own corn made up some of it, and one of them's called Premium. Yeah. It's quite a heavy mix. There's not no beans in it, but yeah. it's um, lots of maple peas, tears, maize, that sort of stuff, and they get that virtually as much as they like a couple yeah. of times a day. How many pairs of races you keep? On an average, about 35, 36 pair. Yeah. Might be one or two less than that sometimes. Sometimes there might be one or two spare pigeons like I've got this year. Yeah. Um, what families do you keep? My basic family are old Westcots, yeah. um, which originate from George King uh, of South Norwood. I mean, old George has been dead a few years now, but I've had them pigeons for about 30 years now, yeah. getting on, and um, they've could, stood the test base. of time with me, yeah. and they really have. I've put one or two bits and pieces in with them over the years. Yeah, but basics in Westcots. Basic, the old Westcott, but um, yeah. yeah. How about babies? How many do you breed each season? For myself, I usually have about 40 to 50 for yeah, myself. Yeah. I might breed a lot more than that, but um, because I've got a lot of pigeons and I like to rear them, let them rear young, and yeah. so um, that helps pay the racing, yeah. Fulton Cell. Yeah. What system do you race your babies on? Uh, not paired up, no darkness, yeah. although I'm not saying I'm against it, just no. uh, haven't got round to trying it yet. I no. don't know if I ever will. Um, just I'd natural, like to, I think, yeah. but purely natural, just the normal to the perch. Yeah. Again, plenty of coastal tosses. They usually get possibly one or maybe two races a year, which is usually the Guernseys in the classic. Yeah. And at the moment, our fed and combine goes to Guernsey also. So, you know, between them, they all go at least once to Guernsey, and then yeah. that's shutting down with the year then. Yeah. Well, Ray, again, mate, I'd like to congratulate you again, mate, on that fantastic performance last weekend. Thanks very much, Keith. Certainly a terrific race to win, wasn't it? Oh yes, yes, definitely. Any classic wins, uh, yeah. well, much appreciated. Well done, mate. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much.